Let's talk about the B117 variant. First identified in the UK and now driving COVID waves across much of the world, the B117 variant has a series of mutations in its spike protein that make it stickier. This makes the SARS coronavirus more effective and efficient at invading our cells and causing infection. But recently, the news media have been reporting that it is no more deadly than the original variant. For those of you following these scenes, this flies in the face of what many public health experts have been warning for some time. The media got their headline from a new, well-conducted analysis from the journal Lancet Infectious Diseases, but they didn't read it quite right. Whenever you're reading a study, you must always look at the population being studied. What the study actually found was that in those hospitalized with COVID-19, the B117 variant was not more severe or fatal than the original variant. Here's from the author's carefully worded abstract. Samples were collected for patients acutely admitted to one of two hospitals. We did not identify an association of the variant with severe disease in this hospitalized cohort. That's a very different thing from concluding that, in general, B117 is not more severe or deadly than the original. The authors themselves point this out. Patients in hospital with B117 were younger and had fewer comorbidities than those with non-B117 infection possibly representing differences in the probability of hospital admission, which we were not able to explore in this hospital-based cohort. The distinction is between the risk of being hospitalized and the risk of dying once hospitalized. B117 increases your likelihood of being hospitalized, but once in hospital, there is no substantial difference in outcomes, according to this new study. Hopefully that makes sense. Evidence from studies performed in the community, outside the hospital setting, does indeed suggest that B117 is more likely to land you in the hospital and consequently increases your overall risk of death. This study published in the prestigious journal Nature found that among those who tested positive in the community outside the hospital setting, the risk of death was 55% higher with the B117 variant than the original variant. In absolute terms, for those 55 to 69 years old, this means that the risk of death increased from 0.6% to 0.9% for those testing positive with B117 in the community. So if a thousand people tested positive for B117 at a community testing site, nine will die compared to the six who would have died from the original coronavirus. And of course, many more will be hospitalized than will die. Several other studies found the same, that B117 is associated with substantially higher mortality. This study from the British Medical Journal, another prestigious publication, found a 64% increased risk of death. And this study from Eurosurveillance found a 67% increased risk of death. Of course, COVID severity isn't the only or even the main problem posed by the B117 variant. There's little doubt that this variant is more contagious or transmissible than the original COVID variant. This has allowed it to outcompete the original coronavirus and drive up case counts in the UK, Canada, the US, France, and elsewhere. So to wrap up, as of when this video went to production, there is good evidence that the B117 variant of concern increases your risk of hospitalization and death. However, once you're in the hospital, it seems to make little difference in outcome, whether you've got a new variant or the original virus. And all that to say, please get vaccinated. This is your single best way to avoid being hospitalized with COVID-19. Even a single dose of any vaccine reduces your risk of hospitalization by about 80%. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful and informative, please give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. But if you did not find this video helpful or entertaining, try setting the playback speed to 75%. And please do subscribe to our channel so we can see you next time.